Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're going to be talking about the Desmodia, uh, Desmodus. Uh, yeah, these guys are absolutely amazing. We're going to start off by talking about everything these guys can do because there is a huge laundry list of what these guys can do. One, they can pick up anything um, classified smaller, um, small or uh, tiny, and then pick it up and then drain some blood. All right, by going up to it and right-clicking it, you can pick it up, and then you can either slowly drain blood, or you can start to uh, attack it just like an argent would, and that would also drain blood. The amount of blood that you get from it depends on just how big the creature is. But if you want to go for the big uh, dinosaurs, you can get lots of blood, especially from alphas. These guys, they will harvest up so much. So when you're very first uh, starting out your journey in getting Desmodus, my recommendation was be, would be to uh, get a small lower level one and just use them to get blood. Because the only way to get blood without a Desmodus um, on the Fjorda map is to slurp it yourself by way of a blood extraction syringe. So get slurping and get started because getting your low one, uh, it'll take some and I wouldn't, I would recommend having at least 50 before you go. But, uh, yeah, once you have that first one, you won't have to use that blood syringe device ever again. All right, now for one of their, uh, first abilities, uh, they have, a uh, echolocation. All right, by holding left click, these guys, they can slowly charge up that and then they can send out a pulse that irradiates everything around them. Now, if you're doing this at night, it actually stands out a lot, little bit more, and then also it provides a 20% damage boost to anything that you're attacking while it's night. And then also, and then also while it's night, you can uh, hold the right-click button, and then it will eventually, after about a second, it'll charge up and you'll go invisible, just like the rock drakes. Yeah, pretty dang cool, right? And then you can uh, right-click again to remove it. That's awesome. All right, now, uh, since we're still at nighttime, let's go like this. If you hold R while you're on the back of it, you have a couple different options. One, at nighttime, you can turn on night vision mode, which makes everything a lovely shade of red. This is wicked cool and allows you to spot so many things you just normally wouldn't, even during the daytime. It's rather impressive. All right, now we uh, hold R again, and then this right here, the turn off lifesteal, this is if you want to carry small dinos instead of sucking their blood. I like to keep it on just because I don't use the Desmondus for carrying stuff. I use Arjuns um, for stuff like that. But uh, these guys right here, they're pretty dang amazing, especially for finding things. Now, um, the uh, my biggest use for these guys is for taming things. Yeah, I know, it's pretty dang insane, but just wait till you get a load of this. All right, after you've had your Desmondus for a little bit and uh, it's started to uh, level up and you've gained a little bit of blood packs, you can actually have it, um, it with the saddle equipped, uh, you can have it uh, craft these Sanguine Elixirs. Right here, it takes 200 blood packs and using one of these next to a tame that you have knocked out on the ground will give it plus 30% uh, taming. Uh, it. Yeah, these guys, uh, compare, uh, pair these guys with a uh, Ichthyornis and you have one heck of a taming uh, compilation here. These guys are just big, huge taming buddies. It is really, really amazing. All right, now fighting on these guys is much like um, fighting with a Tapajara. The uh, ability for them to just act as more like a VTOL, it's, uh, it's kind of impressive. And you can also latch on to certain things much like, I mean, because face it, it's a bat. But one of their biggest strengths is also one of their biggest downfalls because these guys, they will just naturally harvest up uh, spoiled meat from all their kills. But the only things they will harvest from their kills are blood packs, meat, uh, the special uh, resources, the special trophies, and spoiled meat. They will not get anything else unless if you're fighting a tech creature. Tech creature, they just get regular stuff. But they won't get any... Uh, organic polymers, they won't get any uh, prime meat, they won't get mutton, so don't use these guys to harvest up any uh, ovus. Just uh, use them for what they're good for, and then go grab something else for harvesting up all your prime meat. Alright, and another reason why these guys are such good um, creatures to use for taming, because while you're on the back of them, you can freely just whip out your weapon, just like this. 
Yeah, you can chase down things from the air, much like a griffin, or on the ground, like a thylacolio and such, and just use this as your mobile taming pin. As long as you uh, have a, uh, a bead on where the dino is going to run, or you are able to uh, knock it out quite effectively, these guys are really, really cool. And then also, so say if you're like this, you can just latch right onto this, and then you can still just shoot, just like that. Pretty dang cool. The how you latch on, it's the exact same me mechanism as a tapajara. Only these guys, they can also latch on to things above them as well. Because these guys are cave flyers, which brings us to our next point. If you are going to uh, um, the caves or the other realms here on uh, oh, Fjordor, but uh, you you want to be able to fly in there. Uh, the Desmodus will take you right inside, no problem. You can fly inside a cave with these guys without even worrying about it. Where uh, if you um, say you enter a cave via um, with an Argent, and then you end up getting knocked off because there's no cave flying in, the Desmodus just go right in, won't even worry about it. All right, now the level to get the uh, Desmodus Saddle is 74. It's rather high, so these guys are not early game tames. But once you get one, it will change the way you play it from 74 on. So be when you're on the Fjorder map, yeah, be ready to tame one of these as soon as you get to 74 or maybe 72, 73, just where you have one handy because it will help out and it will uh, help you along on your uh, journeys afterwards and these guys are wicked amazing all right now there's quite a few places you can actually tame them uh you can go to some of the bigger caves and just look up or you can go to some of the more cramped caves and uh have a little bit easier time with taming them but you can also run into walls and stuff which means that you can have a little bit of problems with taming them uh we're gonna go to uh this one right here located on the map uh this is uh generally not my preferred one it's good but uh generally you're you're praying to the art gods going hey please don't bug out on me but there's other ones. I actually generally prefer to go to the snowy ones down on the southwestern island down there. I think those ones are a little bit better. But I'm going to go here just to where it's a little bit easier for uh, a few different aspects. Now, there's a little cave right below this waterfall. All right, and we can come right down. Land right here. And when you're coming in here, I would recommend either having flak or gilly for this. Uh, flak will allow you to take a hit. Uh, gilly or your best suit of gilly will allow you to take kind of a hit, but also it will allow you to uh, stay hidden while you're doing a bunch of stuff. Now, as you're coming in here, you'll notice that there's going to be some Desmondus just right below as soon as we get in here. Yeah, right there. Yep, there's level 100 right there. All right, now there's, they're generally come in pairs, so chances are there's going to be another one. Now, what the ghillie is allowing me to do is come in here without getting aggroed on. So, uh, let's see. Now, when you're in here, uh, one of the best ways, because when you pick this thing up, or when you get picked up by it, um, what you have to do is you have to have blood packs in your inventory. And the Desmodus will slowly suck your blood, but if you have... Um, blood packs in your inventory it'll instead just be like oh hey you've got blood in your pocket let me have that instead and it um you know creates some sort of like suction thing that slurps the blood out of your pocket and that's kind of what you want but um whenever you just get go in and just jump in and get immediately tamed it destroys their taming effectiveness so much like a trudon you need to actually kind of prep them in order to be uh um Oh, to be tamed. Well, Trudons, and then also uh, the spiders on Genesis 1. Uh, you need to uh, you need to kind of sacrifice things to them. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a Mo Shops that I've been working on for a while. Now, this guy, he's got maximum health. Well, as much maximum health as I can give him. I mean, he's got 55,000 XP. He's got a lot. He's not capped. But if we take and we put a bunch of blood in his inventory, we can actually just send him in. Alright, so the level 100 didn't want to cooperate. He actually flew outside of here. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to get our Mo Shops or our Burt in there and get him to get aggroed on by this guy. And we're just going to let him just kind of just chill out and peace out. And just get picked up and then lured around. So now we can actually take and we can pick this one. Okay, so that's level 20. All right, now what's gonna slowly be happening with the blood in his inventory is his taming effect, this is gonna be slowly going up. I was hoping for a little bit higher, but you know what, 20 will work. 
And apparently there is a pack of them in there. I may actually go clear out a few of these guys. What level is that one? It's the 95 one. And using this method, you can kind of just pick and choose exactly what you want to do. Alright, we want this 95 one. You don't want any of the others. Alright, so there we go. Let's just move Bert right down here. Let's check your health really quick. Uh, your health's okay. Alright, so now we just uh, give him his, uh, let him do his thing. Alright, so now the bat's back up and it's attacking Bert. Kind of slowly. Alright, and then over the course of time, uh, they will just slowly gain their effectiveness. Now, it gets a little wonky in this cave, which is why I generally like using the bigger caves, but, uh, yeah, it's okay, as long as they don't fly out. If they fly out, you've got a problem. Alright, and as it's picking it up, what it's doing is, uh, picking up long enough so it can slurp ten blood packs out of Bert's inventory, or the Mo Shops' inventory, and then once that happens, it's just gonna pick it, um, put him back down. Now, if it gets stuck inside of the cave wall, uh, if you you just whistle the most shots to go right below it, and it should generally have see. There we go. All right, and once you have them close to 100%, right now this guy's at 99, and he accidentally uh, picked me up at one point in time. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, when they hit the most shop, that's when they're doing their damage. When they pick them up, um, you uh, generally they just will be slurping the blood out of it. But when they swing around them and they actually attack. That's the, where the problem comes in. Like right now, he's picking me up. He's slurping my blood. And as long as I don't get deflected off, then everything should be fine. But the moment that he goes over something, like right there, and now he's going to come over and he's going to try to hit me. See? Just like that. Ouch. So then let's just pop onto our Burt. And then let him, there we go. Let him hit the Burt. And then we'll just tame him. All right, so there we go. And that's how you get them up. Now, one of the things I would recommend, if this is your first time doing it, don't do it inside of a small cave. Do it inside of a big cave. Yeah, uh, you could lose aggro and everything like that every once in a while. But generally, there are ways of uh, getting their aggro just by going down near them. But, uh, and also, if you're just wearing flak, you'll uh, get their uh, attention as well. Do you want to stop flying around, dude? There. There we go. All right, but yeah, um, that's the main thing. So where if the longer they can hold you, if they can hold you for all 10 blood packs, then they're fine. But it's the their uh, flight is the exact same as, uh, say, like an Argent carrying anything. If you fly something over this rock, it's going to get knocked out of your claws. And then they're going to swing around it, and then they're going to start smacking you in the face. Yeah, you don't want to let them do that. You want to let them have as much open room uh, to... Uh, uh, pick you up as possible and to carry you so where they can consume all 10 blood packs uh, There were times during that tame that I didn't really show where he only picked them up for two blood packs And he got knocked out and then he's fly around him and he's smack him a few times. So Yeah, be nice to your birds Use an open cave. It just makes things a little bit easier. Yeah, this right here It makes it it may seem like it's a little bit in but there's he got stuck on these walls many 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 times 
All right. But yeah, anyway, so that's Desmodus. How you tame them, what all they're good for. They're, we're, they are such good tames. And especially with the Sanguine Elixir. Uh, Sanguine Elixir, you just consume it next to something that you've knocked out and while you're looking at it, and it will give you plus 30% uh, taming. It is really, really good. Combine that with an Ichthyornis that can gather prime meat, or with a good set of with a good kibble farm, and you are set. It's really good. All right, so hey, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flicker Foo, and take it easy, everybody. This is the cave I prefer, and this is the spot of the cave I prefer doing it in. There we go, Bert. You ready for this? There we go. That's much better. Much, much better. This one's 145, too. And that'll go up much faster now that he's got plenty of time. And he'll just be over there doing his thing for a while. All right. This is the way I like doing it. So much better. Yeah, in the big cave, just give them a little bit of time and they'll eventually just swoop right back down and take out poor old Bert.